there were three brothers who lived well enough in the house at the three road crossroads, by the shore of the sea, at the edge of the forest, at the foot of the great mountain, on the well-travelled road to the west. At least they lived well, but they were never content in each other's company. The two older brothers were strong, straight, tall as trees, unbending and unflinching and all that the weather could throw at them, and from a distance, more handsome than any man has a right to be. But, for all that they looked good, fair and strong, in their hearts they were as dark and as deep as any muddied stream, and devious and cunning as any old fox that has given hounds the chase, but not the kill over many a long winter. This could have been a good and varied life, full of travel tales, borne on accents passed by tongues from well beyond their shore. And although they wanted not for food or drink, goods or comfort, the two older brothers bore their lives with little grace. Each dawning brought a new stranger to their door. They came seeking warmth, food and a willing ear for their tales before they took to the road again. All of the brothers were better than well known as guides on these rough roads, and guide you they would, until the sun set beyond the lower peak of their mountain. They would take you no further, for they had not the need to travel more than one day's journey from their home, as all the world would come to their door with all that the brothers could need to live a simple life. The youngest brother, though not strong or fit, fair or handsome, had a heart that was as warm and full as his brothers were dark and cold. He was willing to help without being asked, even though his arms were weak and body bent, and he was always hungry to hear the traveller's tales. And each new story would be heard, remembered, retold and rejoiced in at the new telling, as he helped each stranger a little further on their never-ending road. And the stories grew, longer, stronger, bigger and better in the telling, as all the best stories do, until many forgot about their journey and stayed to listen a day longer to Gerak, for that was the youngest's name. And it was this that brought the great ill feeling between the brothers. And it was this that caused the brothers to part forever. For the older brothers only knew brute strength as the measure of a man, and only respected fist and muscle, and never understood how strangers chose their runt of a brother as a guide when they could have had them. Indeed, many of the travellers took no help at all from Gerak, seeing that their footsteps fell a little easier, their packs a little lighter, as they feasted themselves on his many strange tales. The high stony road, rain washed and bare by the back of the house, led to the top of their mountain. Uh, of course, they did not own this great benign giant, but theirs were the only regular footfalls to be felt from one season to the next. The road itself led.